So let's begin. Cut action. Hey team, today we are going to do some test driven development with Dart. Let me find the book. Yeah. So this is a book. It's written by Kent Beck himself. Uh, test driven development by example. The purpose of this series is to go through the examples presented in this book in Dart. And we will not do any pros or cons of test driven development. Should we do test driven development or not? Which is following this book, trying to understand what Kent Beck is trying to say and deciding for ourselves the merit or demerit of whether we should do test driven development or not. This particular video, the, uh, the beginning of the intro series is about setting our environment, making sure that we are able to run tests and other stuff. Let me just, so let's get started. Let me configure. Um, So this is my desktop folder. I'll open terminal and I'll just do a simple zoom it in maybe uh, dart create TDD practice. Now this will uh, generate all the placeholder files that are required and We'll just do a CD TDD practice and open it in VS code. And now we're in VS code. Let's just, uh, mm, these are deleted files. Let me just clean it. Now our typical Dart uh, project has a bin folder, which has the executable binary, a uh, lib folder, which has all of the source code and maybe a test folder which has all the tests and the testing itself is handled by a dev dependency and like we can figure out the version later but like this should be enough and we're just uh, doing a dart pub get because like standalone pub tool has been deprecated that's just a PSA. Uh, where lib snap do you void? Where are we? Let's just start a new terminal and do a dot pub get. And it will just resolve the dependencies and get test dot dot. And then we'll try to run dot test. And this will pre-compile the executable. It will take some time. Till then what we'll do is we'll just create a new file underscore test dot dot. So usually what we'll do is like we'll write different uh, kinds of uh, test files for different uh, classes that we need to test or different files that we need to test. How we'll organize our tests is a question for later. But what dart test command does, it finds any file that ends with underscore test or dart and runs the main function in it. Now, when r writing main function for test files, there's like important to know that we have to do a return type and also delete remove the argument test main functions do not have arguments we will also import test dot dart and i think that's that should do it for us now vs code if you have the latest flutter plugin and everything installed what it should ideally do is like if you're in lib or bin folder and you press F5, it will run uh, your uh, main class from the bin folder. 
and that's what we'll see in debug uh, console it's a uh, hello world now if you're in any test file and you press f5 it should uh, like run tests like you see we have the whole testing uh, widget over here and like we see the error no tests were found now let's just uh, continue and try to write one test and then try to make it pass and that should be it for this video so we'll just write a test so usually the way we write test is like we provide tests with some description so let's say 2 into 5 equals 10 that's what we're like trying to test and let's just say that hey there's a class that's called uh, like we're, we're going to expect and say that there's a class that's called multi ply and then like there's some function called small multiply and if we pass 2 and 5 to it it should be 10 so when it all started out we had to write like uh, e equals and then write 10 but uh, right now if we just give a expression like it will wrap it with equals automatically so that's how expect works um, obviously if we like uh, do f5 uh, first of all like we're warned about the build errors but like even if we debug anyway we're going to get, get compilation errors which is also a form of error and that's what happens when you like run a test without having any implementation attached now let's just go to lib and do a new file and call it multiply dot dot and let's see we have what do we have here let's just say we have a class let's name it multiply and we have a static function called multiply and it takes int a int b and maybe returns something like 20 and now if we go and maybe import this over here and press f5 we have a like proper failing test so it says that hey this here like we expected 10 but the actual is 20 and that's fine uh, we have this this is what we call a failing test and like it's it pauses at the first failing test because like there's a setting over here or something like that uh, uncaught exception so if we remove this it will run all the tests and then tell us that hey these many tests have failed so this is what will happen if we uncheck this one it will say that hey this test has failed and like you can click on this test and you have this in the debug console that 2 into 5 equals 10 is like a cross cross I, it didn't pass so we go back to multiply dot dart and like make it pass by a 10 going back to test dot dart pressing f5 and now our tests are passing the main purpose of this video was not to uh, show you how to code it was how to show you how to and or where to write these tests and w like how the dart project structure works when we are doing test and development side by side bin is the actual executable test is all the test executables lib is where the actual code lives and that should be the end of video stay tuned for the whole series and we'll try each and every example in this book in dart so that's what this series is about it's kind of a book review and practical examples at the same time i'll see you again in another video thanks for watching see ya